Okay, this is the other guy here, and today I'm going to show you how to put Remote Joy on your PSP. Basically, Remote Joy, what it does is take your PSP and put it on the PC. So you can see it on the PC, you can use the keyboard or any joystick or anything to uh, control your PSP. And uh, once you have the two download links open that I put in the description, it should bring you to this page here. It says Remote Joy SDL 2007. The other link should bring you to this one Remote Joy and screenshots for 3.71 M33. So once you have those two links open, go to one of them, scroll down, and press Download. Press Save to Disk and press OK. It doesn't matter where you download it to as long as you remember. Mine is in Downloads. So press Save. Since I already have it, I'll just press Yes to replace it. Once you have one done, you have to go to the other. Again, scroll down, press download, save to disk, and press OK. Save, and yes. Now, once you have the two links downloaded, go to wherever you've downloaded them to. For me, it's E Drive, Downloads, and there it is right there. should have a bunch of random numbers in front of it, and should say more joy SDL underscore 2007 and more joy and screenshot. They're both dot rar files, so you'll need to download a uh, WinRAR to um, extract them. So once you have them, double click them, and should bring to this window here. Now press extract to, and again it doesn't matter where you extract to, just remember where you extract it to. So press OK. Now, it should only take a little bit. Yep, it's done. And do it for one, two. Remember, extract to, and remember where you don't re extract it to. Okay. Shouldn't take too long. And once you have that done, you go to the folder where you extract them to. Now, it should say 13707 Remote Joy SDL. 2007 05 13 R2204. The other one just say 14684. Normal joy and screenshot. Okay, so once you have the two folders downloaded, what you need to do now is hook up your PSP. Now, what you need to do is go into remote joy and screenshot and look at the readme. Well, you don't really have to look at the readme, but it does have some valuable information on it, and yeah. So, first of all, what you need to do is copy remote joy and USB host fs.prx. Copy it and paste it into your PSV SE plugins, and right here. I already have it here, so I'm just going to paste it and replace it. Now, if you don't have the SE plugins folder, you can just uh, create yourself and put them in there. Now, once you've done that, you need to go to the Remote Joy SDL and go to PSP firmware 3.xxoe and then you go to SE plugins and copy the game dot text. Now once you've copied it, paste it into your SE plugins inside your PSP. I already have mine done so I'm not going to replace it with an old one. Now what you need to do is open up the game dot text and change it so it looks like this. Now it originally looks like this. And what you need to do is change it from this to this here. Let you, I'll let you get a good look at it. Now once it's once it matches this one right here, what you need to do is uh, actually you know what you don't need to do this one right here. This one's just for a cheating program that I have, 
and uh, you change these two right here. So once you got these two done, exit that and go back to your PSP, see plugins, and what you need to do now is exit your USB mode and go into recovery mode. Okay, so once you're in the recovery mode, uh, and if you don't know how to get there, you just hold down your power button for a good few seconds until it fully turns off, then you turn it back on again while holding the right trigger. Now, it should come up to a black screen with red text, and I can't show you because Motor doesn't work with it, so I can't record it. So, once you have that open, uh, scroll down to your plugins, open that up, and enable both plugins. Once you've done that, hit back, and then exit recovery mode. Okay, what you need to do now is go to your, to wherever you extracted your Remote Joy SDL, open it up, and what you need to do is go to start USB host fs underscore pc dot bat. Now I'll start up that, and it should bring you this console right here. Once you have that done, start up start remote joy dot bat. Now it should bring up another console with a screen right here. Okay, so once you once you've done that, start up any ISO, CISO, or UMD that you want to uh, um, hook up to your PC so your screen shows up. So just start up that game, and once you once you're fully into the game, plug in your USB into your PSP. Should come up with this right here. Found your hardware PSP Type B, and it should come up with this window right here found new hardware wizard and now do exactly as I do. I'm going to ask you can Windows connect to Windows update to search for software? Press no, not this time. Press next. Now install from a list or specific location. Now you got two options here. You can press search for the best driver in these locations. Uncheck search removable media if it is checked and check include this location in search. Click Browse and go to wherever you downloaded your Mojoy SDL. Go to LibUSB and go to Driver and press OK. Now if you have a 64-bit computer then you have to press this one. If not, go to the normal one. Press OK and press Next. If you have this one, um, you should click this one, which is psp.imp. Now, if you didn't select this version, then you go to Do Not Search. I'll choose the driver and install. Click Next, and it should come up with this window right here. So, select PSP Type B, and click Next. Should show up with this, which is it. It is installing the hardware for it. Just wait, and there you go. It is finished. Click finish and go to your PSV and it should be right here. And there you go, it worked. And if if it when you hooked it up it said uh, USB device instead of PSP type B, what you need to go what you need to do is go to my video right here which is this link and I'll post this on my description so you know which link to go to so once you have that done well that's basically it uh, have fun with your remote joy and I hope you enjoy this video Thank you.